This is the weekly summary for the daily update from October 25 to October 30 for October 25, 2021. Aromo rebels have opened up fire on Amhara civilians in Abadanjare area in Lamcha district of Wilega. They have also robbed 10 cattle from Amhara farmers. Furthermore, Amhara farmers in Karamu are still facing danger. The Sudanese military has carried out a coup by overthrowing the civilian transitional government. The military has effectively dissolved the government. Prime Minister Hamdok has been taken to unknown prison. Several of the cabinet ministers are also imprisoned. The Prime Minister has sent a message to the Sudanese people telling them to peacefully resist a military takeover. Desi City Administration has issued a curfew for transportation and movement in the city. Also in Desi, the TPLF has warned that the airspace is above Desi and Kambolchev is off limits and that it will shoot down any plane it sees. Four TPLF spies have been detained in Desi. In Kobo, Tigray rebels are forcing Amhara youth to fight for them or pay up to 50,000 burr. The conflict between Sadama and Oromo nationalists over border issue is worsening. Sadama nationalists are claiming Oromo regional government and Oromo rebels are working in tandem to attack and annex Sadama lands. In Mekat, ENDF has bombed an Amhara farmer's house killing a family. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. This is the daily update for October 26, 2021. Amhara civilians in Karamu, Wilega are still living under the threat of Oromo rebels. They say they are dying of hunger as food is run out. In Nekamt, Suri district, Oromo rebels have surrounded Amhara civilians and are about to kill them. The civilians have called out to regional and federal government for help, but as in the case of Karamu, no one is listening to their plea. Also in Oromo region, Gihidayana County in Wilega, Oromo rebels have kidnapped over Amhara civilians including women and children, and their condition status is unknown. Ngushina and Kobo Tigray rebels are robbing and beating Amhara civilians as they face defeat in several fronts. Also, in Kobo, they have continued to rob the harvests of Amharas. In southern Wello, near Haik, the rebels have killed one Muslim imam and two Islamic teachers, some say the number might be higher. Also, in parts of Haik and its outskirts, the rebels are engaged in robbing in the following areas, Addis Sefer, Hospital Sefer, Bisanko, and Wahilo areas. In the countryside of Kudabur, in a small area called Gunu Lila, the rebels have robbed Amhara farmers. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. This is the daily update for October 27, 2021. In Banshangul region, Matikal, Goom's rebels have blocked main roads and are shooting on civilians. Two Amhara security militias were killed when attempting to return fire. Local witnesses say the rebel group is heavily armed. They said they have RPGs and machine guns. They have also said the government has deliberately ignored the situation and even worse has removed any sort of security needed to fight the rebels. They also state that local government officials are involved with rebels. Also, in Benchangul Kamashi County, Oromo rebels have kidnapped seven Amara civilians and have taken them to Nekamton Oromo region. In Haroguduru County, Oromo region, OLF rebels and regional government local leaders are harassing and abusing Amhara civilians. In Wigaltina, Tigray rebels have killed several Amhara civilians they felt could be a threat. The Amhara regional government has graduated a new batch of Amhara force. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. This is the daily update for October 28, 2021. Aromo rebels are killing, harassing, and abusing Amhara civilians in Horoguduru County, in Aromo region. Amharas in Aromo region have still not gotten any federal or regional attention. The regional government has sanctioned OLF rebels to do as they please. Residents of Northern show a state that scores of Oromo nationalists are heading to Wello. The residents say that they have governmental papers claiming that they are traveling to visit their sick family members. Residents say they are probably heading to Wello to join TPLF. In Desi, TPLF shelled Desi City, killing two civilians. Residents say TPLF has shelled the city several times for the past three days. In Afar region, over 45,000 Afar civilians have been displaced from Chifra and Migale area and, in total, 200,000 Afar civilians have been displaced. Afar IDPs say they need immediate assistance of aid. After the military orchestrated a coup, Sudan has been feeling pressure from the international community. The United States suspended the $700 million aid it had planned to give the government, and the African Union has suspended Sudan from participating in any conferences or programs. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. This is the daily update for October 19, 2021. Tigray rebels have killed six civilians in Delanta claiming they are spies. 
and Lalabella and Kobo the rebels are committing mass rapes. Victims have stated in Kobo, they are raping women in a place called Kobo Garana area. The Ethiopian federal government preliminary investigation says, the Tigray rebels have killed 483 civilians in Amhara and Afar region, and have raped 109 women. Sources say, top TPLF leaders have divided after a heated argument, and some of the leaders were detained. Reason of the divided is unknown, but they suspect it has to do with the heavy losses TPLF is taking in southern Wello. Several Amhara civilians are dying from hunger in TPLF-controlled Waghamra areas. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. This is the daily update for October 30, 2021. Seven Amhara women IDPs have died in childbirth in Karamu Walega due to medical attention. Tens of thousands of Amharas are limbo in a camp, and they are not getting any medical attention or food. The IDPs are also being killed and threatened by Oromo rebels. They say that they cannot leave the area because Oromo rebels have surrounded them on all areas and they might get killed. In southern Wello, in Haik, Tigray rebels have killed Stefano's monastery guards and they have looted the monastery's artifacts. In Sudan, tens of thousands of civilians held a massive rally condemning and rejecting the military takeover. In the rally two civilians were killed and 38 injured when the military started shooting into the crowds. In Somalia, more than 100,000 Somali civilians have been displaced after fighting between local administration of Galmudig region and a local rebel group. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.